Well, more snow is on the way as we head into the evening, just mostly lake effect for this afternoon. But the biggest story today was the cold air as temperatures were held into those upper single digits and the lower teens. Right now seeing just some of those snow showers across the region, but you can see in the last few frames of this graphic right here, snow really developing just off to our west in Minnesota and in western Wisconsin, and even a little farther off to the south, closer to northern Illinois, Chicago and southern Wisconsin. Now, this feature will come in as we head into the evening, increasing our snow chances for us and uh, providing some accumulation amounts as we go into the night. And light accumulations mostly around one to three inches, except if you're going to be right along the western shorelines of Lake Superior here across the Keweenaw Peninsula and the Porcupine Mountains could be looking out for just a bit more. And we do have a lake effect snow advisory out for the region, but we'll talk more about that coming up here in a few seconds right now at nine degrees winds out of the west currently at 10 miles per hour and real field temperatures are below zero. Nine degrees for us here in Marquette and farther off to the west you will notice uh, similar conditions. Nine degrees in Ontonagon, only at seven in Ironwood, 13 in Houghton while we'll seeing more of those lower teens in Crystal Falls and in Menominee. Eastward, middle teens as you go into Munising, 15 over to St. Ignace at 12 degrees in Escanaba and Ishpeming at nine degrees. Winds out of the west, not too blustery out there, only around five to ten. Five here in Tohoten at three in Iron Mountain and at 14 a little uh, more breezy as you get into Escanaba, but uh, not out of hand one bit, but they will pick up certainly as we go into tomorrow. And current temperatures across the state, more of those upper single digits, lower teens across the UP and a few 20s as you go farther to the south. Flint right now at 20 degrees and as far as your wind chills, Five below in Marquette, one below in Escanaba, seven above in Sault Ste. Marie, while at six in Alpena and Gaylord right now at three degrees below zero. So definitely bundle up if you're going to be heading out tonight or either tomorrow because a very cold air mass is in place right now. But it's winter. It's what we should come to expect, right? Bridget with light snow as we head into the evening, uh, mostly just right around an inch for a lot of the region, but blustery and snowy as we go into tomorrow and very cold with highs uh, for a lot of us in those mid and upper single digits and bone chill chilling wind chills are on the way for tomorrow night as we'll be looking out for those numbers getting well below zero, uh, possibly in the teens below zero for your wind chills there. But here's a look at your watches and warnings graphic. You can see off to the west. This is what we're going to be impacted by lake effect snow as you go into Keweenaw County, northern Houghton County, Ontonagon and Gogeba County. That is going to be until 7 or 3 p.m. Sorry, uh, Central Standard Time on tomorrow. We'll be looking out for three to six inches of snow, if not a few locations getting just a bit higher in those areas. But uh, the majority of us will be looking out for just right around one to three inches. And here's a look at your snowfall forecast over the next 24 hours. One to three inches uh, expected for a lot of us. Three to six if you're going to be in those advisory areas. Now looking at the set up right now. You can see how that snow is beginning to increase in front of that next system for us and it will continue to do so, but more are to care on the way behind it. This looks to be an even cooler punch than what we had over the weekend. And as you go into tomorrow, that system will work its way off to the east behind it. More of those northwesterly winds, which will help in producing more of those lake effect snow showers. And looking at your feature cast model, there's the feature going mostly to our south, taking a lot of that moisture with it, but it does enhance our snowfall just a bit, seeing more of those lake effect snow showers in those favorited areas out of the northwest before that tapers off as we get into Wednesday and by the time we get into Wednesday afternoon, possibly getting a break from the snow altogether before later on into the week, maybe seeing another chance as we go into Thursday and Friday. But here's a look at tonight dropping down to six degrees, a very cold evening with uh, snow on the increase for us. Winds out of the southwest at five to ten miles per hour, but winds will shift. They'll come out of the northwest by tomorrow and we'll be expecting those anywhere between 10 to 20 miles per hour. So maybe even a few patchy areas of blowing snow that can be dangerous. Make sure to watch out for those re reduced visibilities at four degrees for your high in Ontonagon, only at nine in Lawrence, 11 degrees in Florence at 16 in Escanaba, 16 in Manistique and calling for 17 in Munising. And now looking at your seven day forecast, highs will be in the upper single digits for us here in Marquette over the next two days at nine degrees on both Tuesday and Wednesday. Heading into Thursday, a bit of an increase in temps all the way back up to 18 degrees, 24 on Friday before cooling off yet again on into the weekend.